If you're thinking of using Divi by Elegant Themes, this video might just be what you're looking for before you sign up. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the different features of Divi, my personal experience using it, and some of the issues that I ran into since I signed up about two months ago. Now, even though their website builder has some flaws, I do see myself continuing to use Divi, and I'll tell you exactly why that is throughout this video. And I should also say that if at any point whilst watching this video, you decide to sign up, you can get a really nice discount by clicking the link in the description below before creating your account. All right, now let's jump in. Now, as a graphic freelancer, I have built a few websites before to advertise my work. And since it's just a smaller part of my job, I do really appreciate more simple website builders since I don't want to spend a lot of time doing this. And to be honest, Divi has definitely been one of the easiest ones that I've come across. So what is it? Divi is a website builder that can be used to make nicely designed websites without the complexities of writing computer code. It also makes configuring and installing plugins really easy. Now it includes a ton of customization options for users, making the finished website designs more unique when compared with other platforms. It's great because you can also match it to your brand visuals like logos to round out the look of your page. Now it also has an advanced interface that works well for both beginners and experts and with different controls from font styling to true visual editing. But it's not overloaded since Divi removes options that you aren't using automatically. In fact, it only loads the CSS needed for the modules and features that you actually use. But their main appeal to me is definitely the range of different designs and features that they've included in their tools. Like for example, shape dividers, border options, drop shadows, animations, background images, and a lot more. Divi also has AI tools that you can use to help you save some time while creating your own unique page. You can simply auto-generate some of the written content and it can also create images for you. Just make sure to check the AI content before putting the site online, since AI still tends to mess up, especially if you don't give it a lot of information to work with. Now, if you want to create multiple pages and websites, Divi also has Divi Cloud, which is basically a cloud for your Divi websites. Here, you can organize your files, access them from anywhere, and use the storage for different layouts and designs. That is, without clogging up your own drive. I've also previously created some websites for clients with smaller businesses. So I've had some opportunities to try different website builders. Now the ones I've used before needed a lot more input and were more difficult to use when compared with Divi. In the end, this is just my personal opinion since I work well with the way their builder is organized. But to be honest, I found it more efficient than the ones that I've tried previously. Now, to be honest, it was a bit of an investment for me since the subscription I picked isn't exactly cheap. But to be honest, I don't think I'll be switching to a different WordPress builder anytime soon since I'm really happy with the included features and I'm familiar with how this works. All right, now if you've made it here to the end of this video, please take advantage of the discount link that I've found to save a few dollars. You can find that in the description below. If you found this helpful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you have any questions at all about Divi or anything that I've mentioned, feel free to write them below and I'll be sure to get back to you. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.